Heidi here. Welcome to part two of my wardrobe tour. I've done dresses already, uh, which is actually already out of date because I bought two dresses the other day, which you will know if you watch my charity shop haul. But today we're doing skirts and I have quite a few skirts, I think about 17 or 18. First of all, we have this one by Space Tribe. I got this off Depop, I think a couple of years ago now. And it's definitely one of my favourite skirts ever. And it's it's just all I've ever wanted in a skirt, really. <laughs> um, so as you can see, these rings here are plastic. And I really like them because of the unusual shape that they are. And I really like the webbing as well. And these pockets here are Velcro and they are functional is handy. And uh, this piping I think is UV reactive as well. So I love some UV stuff. Um, but yeah, because it's not really really short it's great for everyday wear as well. And this is the back. It's just got a zip up the back here. And this is a uh, vintage from the 90s. Yeah, I will never ever be parting with this one. I love it so much. This one here I also found on Depop, but I modified quite a bit because I bought, when I bought it I knew it would be too small, so I was expecting to have to modify it. But when I got it I literally could not get it past here. It was so so tiny so I added this panel in the back here this is how much I needed to make it bigger by um, so this is just some thick PVC fabric and then because it was like this at the top as well when I got it which was kind of awkward so I added these bits in here, which tied nicely in with the panel in the back and adds a bit more interest to it and makes it a bit more practical. I do really like to wear bright underwear with this because obviously you can see it through here and I have a pair of Cyberdog underwear that I like to wear with it so it has Cyberdog across here. I think that looks really cool. Yeah, this is another one that I'm definitely keeping hold of. I might as well show you all of my Depop finds in one go, so here's another one. Uh, this is by Battery Organic, um, which I don't think they make clothes anymore. It's almost not enough fabric to be a skirt. <laughs> um, I haven't managed to wear this one out and about yet, as in on a night out, because obviously we haven't been able to. Mm. I really like how the logo thing is right on the front here and it's a different colour. This is another vintage one, it's by the brand Jupiter. I really really love this floor length cyber goth style of skirt. I've only got this one so far but I'll probably end up making some other ones. This one actually goes completely to the floor on me because I don't like high waist stuff so I can't wear it up here to bring it off the floor. So I just have to wear some platforms with it so it doesn't drag on the ground. It does up with a velcro so it's nice and adjustable and uh, yeah I think it's 100% cotton so it's a bit noisy. It's got an apron style pocket in the front here, and then it's got the elastic here on the side. I really like that detail. And it does have a hole here, but I think that just adds to it, you know. And uh, at the back, the split goes all the way up to here. And I did, I think I ripped it a little bit the other day, but it's fine. Um, and we've got a pocket here. 
that's the pocket right there. That's the only thing protecting your backside. <laughs> As you can see, it goes all the way to the floor. And this is me standing on my tiptoes. This is how long it is. <laughs> the last of the Depop skirts. We have this one by Phase. You may be able to see my underwear through this because it doesn't have a lining. So I will be putting a lining in at some point. Now that it's just sort of plain fuzzy mini skirt. This is going to be very difficult to keep completely white. Most of my white things I like to dirty up a little bit to kind of get ahead of that problem. And I just generally prefer white things that are a bit dirty looking anyway. In an obvious way, not in a you need to put that in the wash kind of way. <laughs> At some point I will be dyeing it not black though, because it's easy enough to find a fuzzy black skirt. I'll probably dye it neon green or something fun like that. I guess I'll do all the my charity shop finds next. So this one I've had very many years now. It's originally from H&M Divided and uh, it's held up really well. I really like the way it moves. Makes it really fun to wear. Now this one I didn't actually buy in a charity shop. This is one of the very last things that I bought new from, uh, this one was from Next? No. New Look? Yeah, I think this was from New Look. I bought it on, uh, on sale. Um, and it used to be uh, ankle length, I think. Um, but I have recently cut it much, much shorter because I just didn't like having all that fabric around my legs. It was really annoying. So I cut it much shorter and now, as you probably have noticed, it's very, very similar to this skirt. Um, so I will be letting go of this one because I've had this a long time. I've worn it loads. And this is a bit different to this one. And I, this is one I've decided to keep. Uh, yeah, as I said, I bought this when I still didn't know that much about fast fashion. This one, in case you couldn't tell, has been very heavily modified by me. Uh, originally it was about this long and just like a circle skirt kind of thing. I cut the bottom very unevenly, which is you know, part of the look. Um, and added some fabric bits, uh, used staples for a post-apocalyptic look. My, uh, what do I use some paint? Sewed on it, all that kind of stuff. I've had this about five or six years now, and uh, I've worn it so much, and I think it's time to let this one go now. I think someone else can enjoy it. Uh, but the zip is a bit dodgy, so I will replace that before selling it, but this will be on my Depop for anyone who wants it. This one was a more recent find. And it's got these nice metal zips all down the side. And I did look up the um, make of this. It seems to be a 90s vintage skirt. I will probably sell this one on at some point. Not just yet, because I haven't got my wear out of it. But This skirt is one of my best charity shop finds ever. And judging by the label, or what's left of the label. Um, I'm fairly sure it's vintage. Not sure how old, but definitely at least 20 years old. 
and uh, this one I have modified. The lining, as you can see, is much shorter than the rest of it. Uh, but the lining, yeah, I wanted to cut that out, so I did. And I absolutely love it now. Before it was nice, but now it's just so much more interesting because you can see what shoes I'm wearing. And that's one of the most important parts of the outfit. <laughs> yeah, I just love the way it moves. Now we're on to the skirts that I have made myself. This skirt I made from top part of a pair of jeans, as you can probably tell. So I just cut off where the leg bits started and used this bit. I suppose this one's more of a heavy modification rather than a full DIY, but you get what I mean. Um, and then these panels of PVC, I just snipped out and stitched on the bottom and I did this overlay of this mesh here and these studs I think just one or two of them actually came that colour and then the rest I painted with nail varnish so they would match the mesh. I have worn this a fair few times um, but the only thing is because it's so so tight it doesn't stay where it needs to stay when I walk around um, so I will be selling this one on my Depop and just because of the colour combination I used I don't get that much wear out of it so I think it will do better with someone who will wear it more than me and make more space in my wardrobe for other skirts that I make. Um, This skirt is actually made out of the legs of the pair of jeans I used for the previous skirt. These are actual bandages, unused of course, but they're the old style fabric bandages. So I just stitched those on. And as with most of the white things that I have, I added some uh, grubby bits to it because I can never keep white things clean as I mentioned um, so I just lean into the dirt as it were <laughs> um, and then we've got some distressed bits with this actually kind of off-white mesh and the fastening is actually just a bit random it's this uh, I don't know what these are called I can't remember but it's just a bit of bandage throughout then a couple of hook and eyes. Um, I think with this one I'm going to add a waistband on because at the moment as you can see it's just the fabric raw edge. Um, so this I will just do a little bit of modifying on. Um, I do wear this one fairly often as well. It's nice and comfy. This is a skirt I made quite a while ago now. This zip I took off something else. Um, and then this PVC I purchased new. So this I just used the skirt I already had and drew around it to make the pattern, I think. Um, so this one I will be selling for not very much money at all. Um, just because I have loads of this fabric left and I can definitely do something a bit more complicated now. And as you can see it's very low waisted on me which is how I like things but of course it could fit someone a bit bigger if you wanted to wear it a bit higher up because it's not really really short. So it could be worn like that. And here we have another post-apocalyptic style skirt. I made this one out of lots of different scrap fabrics, as you can probably tell. This bit here is actually made of old socks, um, and old sock fabric is actually really really nice to use for projects like this. And um, 
I will be redoing this one because I've really gone off fake leather look fabric so I'm going to take these bits and this bit out because it's completely falling apart here so I will replace these bits probably with something similar to this um, and this here is actual bin bag just a bit of a frill and then we've got some duct tape this was a waistband of another skirt so I just completely cut off the rest of the skirt and just used it with a zip still attached so keeping this but redoing it quite a lot here's another one that I made completely from scratch and whilst this is fake leather I still do like it because it's bright green so that's interesting enough for me um, this was my first try at making something out of this kind of fabric so as you can see it's not exactly perfect um, especially this way at the front here it's a bit warped um, I am going to try ironing this to see if it will flatten out and then if not I will try something different um, but yeah I haven't really worn it that many times because of these little bits so this needs to go back in the DIY pile it's just a few easy quick fixes and this one I actually did a tiny bit of lining on as well which is very unusual for me I'm really very happy with how this turned out considering it was my first time using this kind of fabric. Now this skirt is one of, if not the best thing I have ever made, in my opinion. I absolutely love this skirt. It's pure perfection, for me anyway. <laughs> uh, so as you can tell it's PVC and it's actually really really difficult to find interesting colours of PVC. So. I bought quite a bit of this orange stuff and uh, again this zip I took off something else and then this fabric I bought new and then these were curtain rings uh, I think these are ones that I found in a charity shop definitely keeping this one forever <laughs> And here we have another ruffly skirt. I really, really love how this one moves. And it's a, a micro mesh. And this was an absolute pain in the ass to put through the sewing machine. As you can probably tell, it's not even all the way around. But I think that just adds to it. And this is... Um, just all mesh, so I haven't put a lining on this. Um, I will probably make a kind of slip skirt that I can wear underneath in case I want to just wear it as a skirt on its own. And I've just got elastic waistband. This fabric I bought new as well as the elastic. This one was kind of a random experiment that I did a while ago. Um, I think I will sell this one because it's quite interesting I think. It will be very cheap because it's not done properly in the back. Um, but it's a nice layering thing. You can wear it over shorts or something like that. This one's more of an overlay than an 